last year. AIDS-related illnesses killed more than 100,000 children worldwide. Death rates amongst HIV-positive children are still distressingly high, and the response from the pharmaceutical industry has mostly been, well, complete indifference. Pediatric versions of essential HIV drugs aren't easily available, especially in poor countries. Even when pharma companies make drugs for children, they're slow to develop them, slow to register them, and slow to make them available in low-income countries. One year ago, pharmaceutical executives promised to make effective treatments for HIV-positive children a priority. And since then, very little has happened. On December 6th, this group will meet again, and they cannot be allowed to rest on last year's empty promises. Vulnerable children in some of the world's poorest countries continue to die because they can't access the treatments that they need. The longer Big Pharma drags its feet on pediatric HIV medicines, the more children will suffer and the more children will die. We're calling on global pharmaceutical corporations to live up to their promises and their obligations. They can make the lives of children infected with HIV a real priority if they just choose to do so.